Tim Panasic for Gibbons Motor Toys. Today we're going to be talking about our Coyote a Carnivore 20 foot boat. So it's quite similar to our 180 Predator and our 190 Predator. The primary difference is, is that it goes from a 72 inch bottom to a 78 inch bottom. So it's six inches wider on the bottom and it's just simply a bigger boat. It's 20 feet long and it's designed to carry a larger V8 engine. Like the uh, 180 and 190 and actually all our Coyote boats, we've got the radius form sides. And again, the advantage to that is, is that uh, you've got yourself a nice radius instead of any breaks in the aluminum. So it looks cleaner, looks like a fiberglass boat. It's strong and it's much easier to repair in the event that there's any damage done. It's got a full reverse chine hull right from the bow to the stern. It's got, this has got the optional UHMW on the bottom. The UHMW is attached with all stainless steel fasteners. So everything is CNC cut. And the advantage to that is, is that if we do have to do any repairs in the future, uh, everything is patterned so that we don't have to replace, as an example, all the UHMW, we can just replace the section that's been damaged. So looking at the hull of the 20 foot carnivore, again, it's very similar to the 180, 190. It's got a half inch keel, that's 6061 aluminum. It's got quarter inch wings, again, 6061 aluminum. The bow section is gonna have 190, so 3 16 5086. And I should probably mention that 6061 is gonna be a harder, stronger aluminum. It's much more difficult to bend. That's why it's used in those contact places. 5086 is still very strong, but allows a little bit more flexibility. That's why it's used in the bow section where we have curves. And then the sides of the boats are 5052, which again are easier to form and still offer great strength. It's also got uh, running tabs that are adjustable. So those work awesome to be able to critique to your load. So depending how you load your boat, where you carry your weight, you can fine tune so that you can get the best fuel economy and the best performance out of your boat. Another feature that Coyote does is compared to a lot of other boats, our swim platform is in a lot of cases, probably close to three inches higher than what would traditionally be on the back of a boat. So what that does is uh, you can literally have, you know, a couple of people back here and this is still going to stay above the water in most cases. So that just offers you a drier place and it's just better for safety and overall use of the boat. Ski tow eye is a standard equipment and we, this has got the optional easy clean in it. Also, the 20 foot carnivore is powered in this particular case with the 6.2 Mercury specific Mercruiser jet uh, with 370 horsepower. And you have an option of the Hamilton 212 or the American Turbine SD309 pump. We've chosen the SD309 pump on this boat for a couple of reasons. Um, number one is, is that it does cost less money up front. Number two is it is less money to service in the field. Uh, number three, it's a quieter pump. It, uh, and it also runs very efficiently. So this is uh, paired with a high skew stainless steel impeller and the hookup that it provides with that engine works excellent. Now the Hamilton 212 pump is an option for those people that are carrying more weight. Our opinion is, is that if you're less than 4,500 pounds, total load, boat, people, gear, the SD309 pump works excellent. If you're gonna be carrying loads that are larger than that, then you may wanna consider the Hamilton pump. Keep in mind though, that this pump is gonna be a quieter. Uh, as far as performance is concerned, they're virtually gonna be identical in terms of speeds and fuel efficiency, but definitely a lot more comfort in terms of noise on the 309 pump. And as I said earlier, just easier and simpler to service in the field if need be. So this has got our rear bench seat configuration with a full uh, engine cover, padded engine cover. This is also available with a uh, doghouse style engine box and side bench seats. So this has got the Merc Cruiser specific, specifically made for a jet application. They rated it 370 horsepower. I think those numbers are conservative. This engine is strong. It runs extremely well. It's quiet, it's smooth. It is Mercury's own 
purpose-built 6.2 liter marine engine. So they use this on their stern drives and they've uh, made it for this application to adapt to a jet uh, drive. Uh, what that means to, to you as a customer is that service is gonna be extraordinary. Mercury offers awesome service. You got a dealer network that's global and their warranty uh, again, it comes standard with three years warranty. You can actually buy up to eight years worth of warranty on it. And that's 100% parts and labor. So as far as servicing it, as far as reliability, as far as performance and fuel economy, you're going to have a tough time beating this engine package. On this 20-foot boat, uh, we're, it's running uh, just over 50 miles an hour. And we're pulling off uh, between, uh, you know, four plus miles to the gallon at cruise. And uh, even at full throttle, we're close to two miles to the gallon. So it's a very efficient package. There's also in these compartments, the other side, there is full storage. Here we've got storage on the top. And then what we've got is we've got a lid that's removable here and offers you storage underneath as well as a place for battery storage. Okay, the other thing that Coyote does is with their dashes, uh, they do the face at a 55 degree angle. And the advantage to that is, is that I could be standing up driving and I could still read my instrumentation. This has got the Mercury vessel view gauge in it. That's another nice feature of the Merc Cruiser engine is that we could put this vessel view gauge in it, which is gonna give you all the information you need on your engine. Everything from fuel economy to oil pressure to engine hours. If there was ever a fault code, it's going to tell you what's going on with it. In a lot of cases, it's going to help you with diagnosing. Uh, there is options to have a GPS speedometer that can run with that. So that's a nice feature that we can offer. Again, Coyote's got the billet aluminum on the dash, the glove box. This glove bo box is huge, by the way. You got a heater. It's an option, which is used on most of our boats, but you got vents blowing down here, vents blowing on the defrost. And then that takes you to the open bow. So open bow, drop bow is an option. This can either be closed or it can be dropped like in this case. And uh, the advantage of the drop bow is of course, uh, the ease of uh, stepping in and out of your boat up here. Plus you still have storage here. Great place for lawn chairs, etc. You've got anchor and rope storage here. And of course the drop bow has got the drain holes on the side, so it's all self-draining. What I like about this is people get in here with their dirty sandy shoes, they can leave them right here, hop in the boat, boat stays clean, dump a pail of water here, everything runs out. So to summarize the 20-foot carnivore by Coyote, this boat's gonna be for somebody that's uh, of course running river primarily wants to carry an extra load, more passengers, more gear, whatever it may be. With the 10 degree bottom, with the nine stringer system, it's gonna be a tough boat. The thing steers and handles extremely well. It's still capable of running shallow water and carrying large loads. Like always, remember to uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, let us know if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Thank <laughs> you.